You're watching another episode of Dashing with a Dude. I'm gonna call it Dashing with a Dude. Illegalese bullshit. But anyhow, today we are reviewing my buddy Jesse's place. It's El Mariachi Local. It is a Northwest, Pacific Northwest chain out of Portland, Oregon. They happen to have one here in Star, Idaho. I've gotten to know the owner the manager very well. Jesse's a good friend of mine. And I've actually been to the one in Milwaukee, Oregon. Great place. Food is pretty much consistent along the way. So I got a question for you. Have you heard of palindrome day slash week? Nope. I, you know, hey, I didn't either until Mrs. Dude told me. Palindrome week is today is 2-22-22. But on top of that, not only is it 2-22-22, but it's Taco Tuesday. And it's 2-22-22 Taco Tuesday National Margarita Day. Now my buddy Jesse over at El Mayacho Local, he supplied us with some tacos. And these are the hard shell tacos. And Mrs. Dude's already been eating on the soft shell tacos. And she did a photo promo for him. So... Here's one of the margaritas that I'm not going to say how I got it. Absolutely amazing. Jesse and the guys at El Mariachi Loco have such a variety. If you, and I'm going to leave a link down below, but if you look at their menu, you're, you're going to go, holy crap, that's a lot of food. And it is, and I have not been around the world at their place. But I do enjoy their tacos and I enjoy their street tacos. Now they also have salsa that is to die for. That is probably the best salsa I've ever had. So let's try one of their hard shell tacos. Mmm. Two thumbs up. Five white Russians, five margaritas. Absolutely amazing. These people are so cool at the at, at their restaurant. They really are. Most of the people are immigrants from Mexico and they are just such sweet people. They really are. Every one of those people there I've just gotten to know and consider a friend. I'm gonna try their street taco. Now their street tacos aren't your typical street taco. They're not the really small one that you get. He used to make them, but I think that he found that making them a little larger was better. So you do have some pico in here, some cilantro. And I don't know, back when I was doing my talk show, are you team cilantro or team no cilantro? I'm team cilantro. That's an old question, but they are doing it with steak. So let's try it out. Wrapped with a double corn shell tortilla, which does make it a little more keto friendly than say just your average taco shell. So for you, Thomas Garvey, something to think about. Mm. Whatever it is that they marinate their steak in is freaking awesome because you get that taste at the very end of that corn tortilla, but throughout the entire process, you don't really get the cilantro, which surprises me, or the pico, but you get that steak and whatever they marinate it in. And it's not like overpowering. It is just pleases the palate. Freaking crazy, crazy good. Like I said, they're all over the Northwest, so and they have different names. I'll, I'll leave a link to it. I, I'm not sure what the different names is. When I was in Milwaukee, Oregon last, Jim Kitchen Com Country. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Jim Kitch. His country. Uh, on McLaughlin, they have a joint. And I had to email my buddy Jesse, who lives here, who does the El Mayacho Loco, to ask him what the name of his restaurant was in Milwaukee. My dad and I went there. We loved it. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Now, 
you look at this. <laughs> there is no way, there is no way that I'm going to be able to eat all this. So I actually have lunch tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm okay with a little sogginess. It doesn't bother me one bit. And then again, El Dutorino is not a picky eater. Mm. I'll leave a link down below. This is great. Palindrome day. So people like my buddy John over at Salt and Pepper Cooking, Barbecue, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but you know what I mean. His name is John. You got to check out his channel. I'll leave a link up here to his channel. You got to check him out. Absolutely wonderful person. I dig his channel. I dig what he's doing. Got some great cooks. So we've actually mentioned two channels in this episode. And I'm going to mention the third. And you know who it is. You'll love him. Patrick over at Patty Joe Cooking. This is the part where Patrick will tune in. I know that he's the one that goes all the way to the end. When you look at your stats, it's like, you know, he loves to watch me eat. I don't know what it is. It's kind of a fetish of his. But at the end of the day, we are cousins. That might make it a little weird. <laughs> BS time. I have to admit, I wish all of you were here. Just sitting around, because that's what's food about, right? Just sitting around, talking, BSing, mm. sharing a drink. If you don't drink, that's cool. I don't care. That's way cool. And those of you going, dude, where's your white restroom? There you go, subliminal. And I know we've already passed. By the time you see this video, it's no longer palindrome day. It's a Thursday, and it's kind of like throwback Thursday <laughs> to the week before, which is palindrome day. So cheers. Love you guys. I'm going to finish this here. A street taco, which damn good. Mm. <laughs> Have you guys ever had tequila and squirt or tequila and diet squirt? I hadn't either until about four years ago on Cinco de Mayo. And the cook who does this stuff at MIH Local, his name is Juan. Great guy. It was, he was, we were there late. I knew the bartender. We were there late. Let's take him out. And he came over and goes, hey, dude, come share a drink with us in the back. Okay. I went back there. And it was squirt and tequila. I'll tell you what, it was awesome. And then several months later, I happened to be there, and it was Juan's birthday. We partied it up with Juan. It was great. And about 1 o'clock in the morning, Juan broke out the tequila and squirt. <laughs> and guy, people from Mexico, they celebrate birthdays so much different than we do here in the States. It's an event. And they bring in the musicians, and they have the, the little kids that come around and dance, and they got the birthday cake, and they have a big helping of food. But they like their booze just like we do here in America. Theirs is just a little different. And you know what? I'll tell you what, I had a blast. I really did, and I hope that Juan invites me over this year for his birthday. Because it really was an honor and a privilege to hang out with him on his birthday. I had so much fun. All right, guys, there you go. 
Nobody wants to see some idiot eating food. I do have to tell you, we are now in LLC, the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. We It's called the Dude's Kitchen, LLC. And we are working on getting some swag. And I'm thinking swag is going to be more along the lines of shirts and koozies and coasters and odds and ends. So keep an eye out for that. We're not going anywhere. That bar is coming in here soon. And being how this is February 22nd, it's supposed to be here on Friday. So it's Tuesday, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Well, it's a friend's birthday. A couple of friends' birthday. It's supposed to be here on the 26th. And by the time you guys see this, it'll already be here. I don't know if it'll be installed yet, but you're going to see a major transformation on the dude's kitchen. Excuse me. Yeah, you're going to see a major transformation on the dude's kitchen. Yes, I feel like Patrick. I probably had a little too much to drink tonight. All right, guys. Peace. I love you. Hang loose, friends. And remember, just chill. Check out those channels that I recommended. These guys have great channels. They're smaller channels, but you know what? They're just like you and me and everybody else. They're trying to make it out there, and they deserve it. All right, guys. Love you. Take care.